Hello fantastic people, I hope you are doing great. Today we'll learn how to make objects react to our mouse clicks. Here I have a simple chest. By default it has no animation, but once we set the success trigger, the open animation is played. I start by creating new game object. I click right mouse button in the hierarchy window and select create empty. I call the object systems. In my scripts folder I click right mouse button, go to create and select C sharp script. I call the script mouse input provider. I add it to our systems game object. We'll be using the new input system, so I'm also adding the player input component. I select my existing input actions. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can check this tutorial about new input system. Everything will become clear. I also double check that the behavior is set to send messages. Now I'm opening my input actions asset. I create new action by clicking the small plus icon and call it look. That's because I'm using it to control where my character is looking. You could probably call it mouse position. I change the action type to value and the control type to vector2. Then for the binding I set the mouse position. I create another action and call it, well, action. Also this time something like interaction would be probably slightly better. I leave the action type at button. And for binding, I select left mouse button. I save the asset and exit the window. Time to code. I open our mouse input provider class. First I do a little bit of cleanup. Then I create public vector2 property called word position. To make the value unchangeable from outside the class, I make the setter private. Then I create a private event of type action called clicked. If you are unfamiliar with events, you can check this tutorial out. Then, to handle the messages sent by the player input component, I create private method called onLook with the parameter of type input value. The value contains the position of the mouse on the screen, so I'm converting it into the word coordinates. And of course, I store it in our word position property. To handle clicks, I create another private method called onAction. And as well with the parameter of type input value. The underscore character allows me to discard the value because I won't need it. Inside the method I simply invoke the clicked event. The mouse input provider is ready. Now let's create another component and call it click handler. Of course let's add it to our chest object. We'll also need two more components. First one the box collider 2D to indicate the clickable zone and then circle collider 2D to indicate in which area the character has to be in order for the interaction to work. Now let's open the click handler script. And as usually let's start by doing a little bit of cleanup. First I create private serialized unity event and call it clicked. Notice that it requires using the unity engine.event statement. Now I add variable for the mouse input provider and in the awake method I assign it using the find object of type. Then I subscribe to its clicked event with mouse on clicked method which we'll implement now. It will have only one line, invoking the clicked unity event that's part of our click handler class. Time to define the action. In the inspector under the clicked event I click the small plus icon. The action will be happening on the animator so I drag and drop it into the field. Then I change the no function to animator set trigger string. Now I'm providing my trigger name, success. Now whenever I click the chest will open. In order to handle clicks only in the specific area I create private box collider variable. Then I assign it inside of the awake method. Inside of our mouse on clicked method I check if the collider bounds contain the mouse world position. Then I invoke the clicked event only if they do. Now the clicks outside the box collider don't do anything. Sometimes we'll want to react to clicks only if the character is close enough. For that I create a new variable and call it has to be in range. Then another one is in range. I add on trigger enter to the method and inside of it from the collider I try to get the player specific script, in my case player movement. This allows me to check if the collider is player. If so, I change is in range to true. I copy and paste this method and change the name to on trigger exit to the. If the collider exiting the trigger is player, I set is in range to false. Now inside of our mouse on clicked method, I need to add extra condition. The click will have to be inside the box collider and the character has to be in range or it is not required to be in range. 
Before you test, make sure the circle collider is set to trigger. And now everything works as expected. If you enjoyed this tutorial, consider subscribing to my channel, liking and commenting this video. And of course, have a fantastic day. Love you and bye bye.